Hey everybody, it's Argon657 here, and today I bring you another Pokemon Ors Wi-Fi battle against Pedro. I um, hope you guys enjoy this video. So anyways, he's going to start off with Cloyster, I'm going to start off with Slowbro, and he's going to switch out into Mew as I go for the Toxic, because I don't want Cloyster to set up Shell Smashes, because he can very easily sweep my whole team. And Slowbro is the only thing that could stop it. Um... So he's going to go into uh, his Mew, knowing that I'm going to go for the Toxic, and then he's going to um, use his Synchronized ability to bounce back Toxic onto my Slowbro. So now, I'm going to save Slowbro for later because it's still useful uh, for his other Pokemon, especially Cloyster, even though it's Toxic. And uh, he's going to go for the knockoff over here, expecting me to switch. So that was a good play on his part. And now, here's a perfect opportunity for me to get up the Stealth Rocks, so, um, it's pretty much the only time that I'll ever be able to get up the Stealth Rocks, so, I just gotta, uh, get those Stealth Rocks up as soon as possible, so. Uh, he's gonna go to his Milotic, I'm gonna go for the U-turn, it doesn't really do too much, and seeing how much that did, it's probably a, more of a defensive, uh, Milotic, based on how much that did, so, um. Um, I'm gonna go to my Starmie, expecting him to go for the Scald or the Ice Beam. Um, both I can take very well. Um, so he's gonna go for the Dragon Tail over here and, uh, phase me out into my Superior. So, I'm gonna switch out though, cause, um, I don't wanna take an Ice Beam or anything like that. So I'm gonna go to my Scizor, expecting him to go for that, um... Ice Beam. So, um, over here he's gonna go to his Weavile, and, um, I'm gonna flinch, and then he's gonna go for the knockoff. I, um, predicted him to switch, though, expecting me to go for the Bullet Punch, but I went for the U-turn just in case he decided to switch. But he does stay in, make the good play, and go for the knockoff, getting rid of my choice band. So, um, he's going to go to his uh, cloister now, and then he's going to set up the shell smash. And um, I'm going to go for the knockoff over here, because knockoff will um, do a lot of damage to cloister because of the uh, king's rock and all that, because it's holding an item. So now he's going to go for the icicle spear. And it's going to take out my um, uh, Landorus, but I'm going to go to my Scizor, try to go for the Bullet Punch, but he's going to go for that Ice Shard and take out my Scizor. So now I'm going to go to my Slowbro over here because it's the only thing that I have to counter this um, Cloister. So uh, the Icicle Spear does nothing to my Slowbro, and I'm going to go for the Scald. And I'm going to take him out. Cloyster doesn't really have that good special defense, so... And it's also at minus one, so... Uh, it would have been an easy KO. So now, he's going to go to his Jolteon, and I'm going to switch out into my, um... Terrakion, expecting him to go for a Thunderbolt or the Shadow Ball. Um... I do take the Shadow Ball very nicely, and I'm Scarf, so I can go for the Earthquake... But uh, he's going to predict that and go into his Landris, and uh, yeah, the Earthquake isn't going to do nothing because uh, it's immune, being flying type. So I'm going to go back into my Slowbro over here, and he's going to go for the knockoff. Um, the knockoff doesn't really uh, do much. It's not boosted because I'm holding the, uh, uh, the Mega Stone, so... Yeah, he's going to go for the U-turn and go into his Milotic, and uh, I'm going to go for the Slack Off over here because I want to get as much health back as possible before I can Toxic this um, Milotic. Um, the Toxic will rack up. I can only stay in for so many turns because of the Toxic. Uh, without the Toxic, I would have stayed in a little bit longer, so probably a lot longer, actually. So, he's going to go for the Recover, and um, I'm going to go for the Slack Off to heal up. And then he's going to go for the Scald. It doesn't do too much. 
and I'm able to land the toxic. So um, I know for sure that he does not have rest or anything like that because he has recover. So now this my low tick is gonna um, be pretty much useless because of the poison and all that. So I'm gonna go to my Starmie expecting him to go for the Scald and all that. Because I know I could take um, Scald all day and all that. So um, I'm gonna, I think, go for the Recover over here this turn. Or do I go for Scald? I'm not sure. Um, he's gonna withdraw. And then he's gonna go to, to his Mew. And uh, I go for the Recover expecting him to attack. So um, I probably should have switched out here because... Um, Starmie was still useful against his um, other teams and all that, like Landorus, his other Pokemon. Um, oh, never mind. I actually switch out into my Slowbro, expecting him to go for the knockoff and all that. Because Slowbro really isn't that useful anymore because uh, it's poisoned, and I already took out his Slowbro. He's going to go to his Jolteon over here, and uh, I'm going to go for the Scald because I want to see if I can get the burn, and I do get the burn on the Jolteon. So I'm just going to let Slowbro be a death fodder pretty much because Slowbro is pretty much useless. So he's going to go for the Shadow Ball, take out my Slowbro, and the burn is going to um, do a lot of, uh, well, not a lot of damage, but it's going to... Um, whittle him down to like a minuscule amount of health so he's gonna go for the um, shadow ball I missed the leaf storm would have been nice getting that plus two special attack but uh, he's gonna go to his landers over here the intimidate doesn't really matter it's just gonna raise my attack because of the contrary so I'm gonna go for the giga drain to get some health back and then um, he's gonna go for the knockoff which is actually good for me because uh, I don't have to take a uh, life orb recoil, even though the um, even though my uh, leaf storms, giga drains aren't gonna be doing that much because of the life orb and all that. Um, since I don't have the life orb anymore, but I can still deal out a decent amount of damage to this Mew and go for the giga drain to try and get some health back. And I know I'm faster, so. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go for the Giga Drain over here, and he's going to um, uh, get taken down by the Giga Drain. And then he's going to go to his last Pokemon, which is um, my Lotek, and I'm going to be able to take him out with the Giga Drain. So, uh, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a comment below in the description. Click the like button and subscribe and I will see you guys later